Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Emilet. Now this here is their R30C. Now they wanted me to test and review this light. Comes in this box. So let's wait no further, let's open it up, see what's in. A little bugger to get out of here. Having some issues earlier, but... Seems a little better today. And you get one user manual. Now because the specs here are too small, I'm going to go ahead and post them on the screen for you now. This is in multi-languages. This is a palm size floodlight. A lot of lumens comes out of this. Now, if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, we're going to get to moving on. We're now going to take out the little box here. Some more goodies in here. So now, we're going to open up the holster. Get everything out of here. Go over the holster now. Good quality holster on this. Very nice size. Large D-ring, double stitched material. And as you can see, it's the length and thickness of the actual body itself of the holster, which is nice. Quick release design definitely comes in handy no badge on there and it is more flexible but double stitched material elastic here on the sides should be good and we have a little bag of goodies in here you have a USB Type-C charging cable and we have if I can get them out of here, kind of small two O-rings I'll leave those in the bag now let's go ahead and take a look at the light There it is. Look at how compact this is. So small. Even with the battery in it, it's got some weight to it. Now there's no knurling on the body, so maybe a slip issue with wearing gloves if it's wet outside. Now this here is the activity LED on both sides, letting you know your battery level as well as your charging status. The name here is on the tail cap. Now you can table stand that if you need to. It does have some areas here on the body to help keep it from rolling real easily. Kind of stop it. Now you do have the side switch here, as you can see it's pretty much flush with the body. It does have some areas here where it does stick out. Now that may make it a little difficult to find in the dark. So 
especially if you have gloves. Now the style and design on this is very nice. Got that nice stealth look to it. All the Emelet lights have that stealth attitude, almost like futuristic look, almost like a secret dark project from the military. Always has those type of look to them. Now the machining and finish on this is very nice. No issues there. I've done a lot of reviews for Imlet over the years, including when I had my blog online and uh, back in 2014, 2015. Now my very first light from them was the DD2R which I also did on my blog back in the day before I started my YouTube channel and also my quad ray with the full touch screens on those and that was the DD4R so been handling and working with the Emelet lights for many years okay so now let's go ahead and uh, take a look here uh, let me remove the scratch guard that's on here You want to remove that. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look here as you can see three LEDs, three reflectors, they are textured. Now I'm trying to get a good view of that. Now there's three luminous SST70 LEDs. Not a speck of dust in there. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this apart and I'll show you the inside as well as the battery. Well greased threads. Heavy duty tail spring. So now we'll take the battery out. You want to remove this protection piece here. Now in order to charge the light you have to take the battery out anyways so in any case you'll see that automatically. This is the battery that's included which is a 4000 milliamp. This is a 21700 cell. As you can see right here that's the type C charging port. This is a protected cell. This is a 20 amp cell. Protection piece on it. Proprietary battery it has to be this setup in order to get the very high amps that this battery can do. So this is required for the shortest path to the head of the light. Should give you plenty of power and uh, run time on that. Now down in the barrel it's just a straight contact point down on the head so we're going to go ahead put this back together let's go ahead and get started on the UI. UI is straightforward with eminence which is always a huge plus. Okay so now simply to activate the light you're going to click on the side switch now in order to go through those light levels you're simply going to press and hold. You can individually do it or you can hold it down to go through those. Pretty easy to do on that. And then of course you have double click for turbo. That is a ton of light. Wow. Now you can click that one time to turn it off, turning it back on, it will go back to the last light output that you had it on. So that's impressive, it does have memory mode. Now from any light level, you can double click on this 
to get turbo and then we'll go to strobe after that double click turbo double click again get you strobe and that is at the full light output so that is very distracting and that is a constant speed on the flash and we're gonna press and hold to go back to the last light output that we had it on and we're back to the regular UI now, now while the light is off and you want to turn on the side lights for say like a locator beacon so if you're having a storm in your area and you know the power is going to go out and you can turn these on by simply pressing and holding as you can see there both of the little LEDs on the side will illuminate you want to turn those off without turning on the light if you do that as well so that's a pretty nice feature especially if you want to set it up right somewhere on a table or a counter comes in very handy now you can from off double click to get to the highest output that's impressive now turbo is not designed to run on this light continuously so you definitely want to keep it on medium or high still going to get really warm on the light but it's not going to get super hot um, it will cycle down to keep it safe as far as the circuitry is for the light itself so just remember that and also you're going to get better run times if you use the lower light outputs still going to be a ton of light output for this size of light Now you can lock out this light as well. One, two, three, four. And that blinks four times. Now the light is locked out. It will not turn on, except for those little LEDs on the side. One, two, three, four. Let you know that it's back on and it's ready to go. I'm gonna take a look at the beam here. It does have a centralized hotspot here as you can see right here bleeding around the edge and the spill area kind of tapers off and that's pretty impressive for a multi LED still gonna get those little flower effect type at the very edge the further out you get that will disappear. This definitely may lean more towards the floody side. And that's all there is to this little tiny monster EDC from Emelent. You know, and it's such a compact light that you can get that much light out of it. Really impressive. Emelent is always pushing the boundaries on how small a light can be, how many lumens it can put out. So definitely a lumen war is out there brewing along with budget light wars. All kinds of big markets out there for us flashaholics. So I'm really excited. So let's wait no further. Let's take this bad boy out. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Emelent R30C. So let's wait no further. Let's get started on this. This is known as the Tiny Monster EDC. And there we go. 35 feet to that water spout from where I'm standing. That tree there is 65 feet. There's the beam on the fence. Kind of leans more on the floody side, to tell you the truth. But it does have a little bit of throw in there as well. And it is making a 138 feet. Look at that.
All right, let's go to the next level. See how it does here on the Tree of Life. Nice little jump. Spill has come alive. You can see how large that hot spot is. It takes up the whole tree. Tree line, fence line. Kind of give you an idea behind my hand. All right, let's go to the next level. See how it does. A little jump there. Beam is really wide on this. So it's kind of hard to get it all on camera. But uh, making it to those parks or across the park to the playgrounds there. Both of them. Wow. Still got good battery power here. Making 238 feet now. That tree behind the tree of life. Let's go to the next level here. See how it does. Another nice even jump. That is very nice. Making it to the school. Before and after here. Play the range on that. Impressive. There's high. <laughs> wow, we're not even on turbo yet. Look at that. Now it's cycled down a little bit here. We're going to go back up. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, let's do turbo since we're here. Oh, wow. All coming from this little light. Now it is showing red here for a second, but now it's back to green. We're now going to turbo it again. Look at that. Now, you don't want to run turbo all the time. It's definitely great for a short burst. Show you. Cycles down here. You can see here. Still got good battery power. Did turn red for a sec. But now we're going to double click again. Look at that. I just turned red there. This thing is incredible. Now once it cycles down, it does turn green again. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Amazing little EDC. Definitely small enough for one. Some people it may be a little too big. Some people it may be a little too small. But definitely everyday carry in size. Now I am seeing an absence of a clip here on their light. Kind of wish it had that. Also an opportunity for a lanyard hole would have been nice to be able to stick one on here. Because this is kind of on the small side, but it is heavy enough to where you could possibly drop it. And you don't want to drop an expensive light like this. You know, very nice build quality on these lights from Emelent. Haven't seen any issues. They have been really a 
big pleasure of mine to be able to get these on my channel. I'm able to bring you a special discount code on any of their products in their website. That way you can save some money on these, including accessories. Always nice to be able to pick up an extra battery or so, especially for this light. If you're wanting to extend your runtime, you definitely want to buy the battery that works with it, that is an OEM cell to emulate. Just a huge wall of light. Uh, it does have a little bit of throw out there. And again, these I've experienced these Luminous SST70 LEDs on their own individually, and they are amazing. But this, having three of them in there. <laughs> now, Emilet has hit the ball out of the ballpark with this model. Very impressive. A lot of their models that I've done just recently are just really high in lumens. Now, you've got to remember this being as small as it is. Use the battery wisely, low and medium and high. Still going to cycle down whenever, if, if like me, I forget sometimes I have it on turbo, I'll forget it gets warm and by that time it starts to cycle down. That's what it's supposed to do. But you don't want to run your light always on turbo. Not made to do so. So now, let's take a look at it in here with the holster. And the elastic stretches around the head, so that's good. And it's the exact same size as the holster, so could still slide to the side. Possibly scratching it. Just yeah, that's I mean it could be an issue, but I don't think it's gonna be a big one. Any case, good quality holster. And it's definitely nice to see that the loop here is the same thickness as the body of the holster itself. That looks good. Alright. Well, I want to thank Emilent again for sending me this to review. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, remember this is a, probably one of the brighter EDC lights that you'll get for this size especially form factor. If this is something you are interested in getting, remember this is a complete kit. comes with everything you need right in this box. Get started outside the box. I will leave a link down in the description area, including my special discount code to the Emilent website. And that will help you save some money on this just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please share, like, and subscribe. That way you can bring more of these lights from Emilet to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.